Hi, in this video I want to show you my uh, wonderful collection of Europe records. In the background you can hear the song Children of the Mind, which uh, is one of the songs which is on their latest album, War of Kings. Uh, I've, I've been a Europe fan for many years now. Um, so in recent years I wanted to collect all the records and I'm very happy to say that I got all of them. This is their beautiful debut record from 1983, Europe. There is also a different cover of this one, in, uh, but uh, I don't have it yet. This is the original cover. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will get the other one as well. I got myself two copies of uh, this record, which is Wings of Tomorrow. This, uh, one was just in better condition, so I bought it. Uh, very good album. You know, this one and the one I just showed you are, you know, pretty good hard rock heavy metal oriented uh, records. Uh, it, it was different than what they did after this when they started releasing more commercial songs and more keyboard driven songs. Uh, wonderful records. Uh, last year they did a, a, a wonderful concert where they played this in its entirety. You can find it on YouTube. It's really um, your time well spent when you look at that. If you like Europe, you, you should watch that. Of course, their biggest success in the 80s was the final countdown. I got myself two copies of this one. Uh, I bought these two 45, uh, sorry, this, these are my maxi singles, 12 inch maxi singles. I bought these because of the B sides. The B side of, of the final countdown is on Broken Wings. And um, to me, that's one of the best songs from that period. Uh, I like it even more than the final countdown and why this isn't on the regular record is beyond me and why this wasn't released as a standalone single is even more beyond me. This could have been a big hit. Also, uh, I bought um, Rock the Night record uh, because uh, the B-side of this one is, um, is a, uh, a re-recording of uh, Seven Doors Hotel. They re-recorded it in 1986 and that's on the back side of this Rock the Night. Then the 1988 record is uh, Out of This World, a beautiful record, uh, got some great songs on it. One of my favorite 80s songs, and they still play that in concerts these days, is Sign of the Times, which is on this one. Also a beautiful ballad on this one, which is Tomorrow, which, which should, have, should have been at least a big hit like Carrie, but it always stayed on the radar and why just beyond me. This is, um, this is already a deviation from the 80s, typical 80s Europe sound. This came out in 1991. It's less keyboards, it's more guitar driven and it's a really good classic hard rock. Got myself two copies because uh, one of the copies has a lot of cracks and uh, so you know I just repurchased this and now I have to <clears throat> the next record I have is this one. This is uh, this was released in um, uh, 2000, I think, 2007. This is uh, last look, um, last look at Eden, uh, but it only came out on a vinyl last year. Uh, this is absolutely a great record. Um, it's completely different than everything Europe did in the 80s. It's complete. Uh, it's more based on like 70s kind of hard rock music like uh, Led Zeppelin, Thin Lizzy, uh, Rainbow, UFO, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is really good. But this one was pre preceded by Start From The Dark and Secret Society, but both those uh, were not released on vinyl yet. I hope they will uh, in the near future, but up to this point they are not available on vinyl. But of course I have them on CD. The follow-up to Last Look at Eden is this one. This is Back, uh, Backs of Bones. And uh, really good album. Uh, more blues oriented. Uh, interesting uh, detail about this. It's produced by Kevin Shirley. Uh, most of you hard rock and heavy metal uh, uh, lovers know, know Kevin Shirley because of his work for Iron Maiden among others. Then this is this is a beauty. I'm gonna highlight this in my next video. Uh, this is um, Life at Sweden Rock. This is their 30th anniversary concert. This actually is a three uh, LP, uh, LP set. Um, great, great stuff. Gonna highlight that in the 
in the next video. Last but least, this is the one day re uh, released this year. This is the latest record. This is Warf Kings. I cannot say enough about this record. You know, if you want to buy one year of record, just one, take this one. This is absolutely an amazing record. To me, it's a highlight of this year. Um, it's produced by Dave Cobb. Uh, you might know Dave Cobb uh, from his work with uh, Rival Sounds. Anyway, this is this is the best record that came out this year so far. And that is my Europe vinyl collection.